Hello and welcome back to my channel. I had this idea the other day and I wasn't going to make it a video and then I kind of figured like why wouldn't I make it a video, you know? And the idea was based all around, if you are an OG subscriber, you remember a couple years ago at Halloween, I did a video testing out a spirit Halloween prosthetic of sorts, and it covered both eyes. And it was very silly, and I'm glad I did the video because I'm glad I tested out the prosthetic and tested out the spirit Halloween brand, um, spirit gum and all that. But I've never used that prosthetic again. And then recently I purchased the Snazaroo uh, face paint in the shade like turquoise, like this light blue, so that I could redo my Sally makeup. And then I was kind of like, what else could I use this for? And I thought of the corpse bread. So I cut that prosthetic in half and we're going to put it over this eye, obviously, because I have the contact in this eye because this is my dominant eye, so I should still be able to see pretty well. Not like I can't see out of this eye, but you know what I mean, everyone has a dominant eye. And we're going to put this over this eye. Because Emily, if you've seen The Corpse Bride, like, she is missing an eye. And it's sort of like a gag throughout the whole thing, you know, her eye pops out. And it's like, a lot of people do costumes of Emily from The Corpse Bride. And, um, they don't bother with the eyeball. And honestly, I might not bother with the eyeball either. I'm just gonna sketch out where it sits. Um, I might not bother with the eyeball either. But I just kind of thought this might be a way to sort of put my own twist on it. And do a little, like, make it a little bit more than just a really cute, yeah, that works. A little more than just a really cute glam makeup look, you know? Because it would be really easy to just do her makeup and paint my face blue and put the contacts in and that sort of thing. But I think this kind of brings it up another level and this time I'll get to use liquid latex. And so far in shooting my Halloween videos, I haven't used it in any other video yet. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put this spirit gum all over that liner that I just put there. Good lord. What did I close this with? Do I have to go get an adult? Oh, got it by myself. I don't need a man. All right, so we're just gonna put this all over this line that I just did, focusing on the line because I know that that's where the prosthetic touches my face but also just kind of going in or outside a little bit in the zones that I know um, it touches my skin as well. The other benefit to putting the prosthetic over this eye is this is my eye that waters a lot. So it's not gonna ruin my whole face of makeup when it waters. I'm also gonna put the spirit gum on the prosthetic. A lot of people that I've watched on YouTube don't do that. They kind of say you don't have to. I guess maybe it's preference. I've always thought Spirit Gum was a two-part adhesive, so it kind of needs both halves to stick, stick together. But listen, my dude, you can do whatever you want and whatever you're comfortable with. I forgot about the smell of Spirit Gum. Man, flashbacks to when I cosplayed Queen Barrel and I had the Spirit Gum like 80% of that costume to my body. And while that's sort of setting and getting tacky, what I'm gonna do is take my NYX Black Bean Jumbo Eye Pencil. Maybe that's kind of dark and this whole so think about the most epic like Bucky Barnes-esque makeup you could do Robert Pattinson and Batman and just kind of slather some black in this area don't worry about going too much outside because the little hole where you're you can see through is very small uh, but you just kind of want to get most skin tones blocked out now you're gonna want to let this sit for a bit so while we're letting this sit for a bit we're gonna do my least favorite thing, and that is block out the other eyebrow. When I tell you that blocking out my eyebrows is my least favorite thing, there's no exaggeration there. I hate it. But we're going to do it anyway. So what you're going to want to do is just take the glue, really press your eyebrow up. Make your finger smooth out the edges. I'm sure if you're more professional than me, you would have used a Q-tip and not your licked finger, but whatever. It's just my own face. And then once that sets, you put powder on it. Then you do it again. Then you do it again. I usually take about four layers to block out my eyebrow. This is also not the outfit I'm going to be wearing. I don't have a dress like Emily's, but I have a sort of 
lacy shirt that I'm gonna, you know, sacrifice to the possibility of getting blue face paint on it, but it's the closest thing that I have. I actually did dress as the corpse bride for Halloween. I think it was 2007, like I was in elementary school still, and it looked really good. I don't think we have any pictures of it, but my mom made the dress and it was beautiful, and we had like little bones on the side where her ribs are, and I did my makeup, and considering I was like, you know, 12 or 13, it still looked really good. I had the wig, but it was just like yarn, like, it was, it, it was cool. The wig that I have for today is actually a blue wig, like hair, not yarn. But that one was really cute. I love that outfit. I wish we had pictures. I don't know why we don't have any pictures of Halloween that year. You can tell when the glue on your eyebrow is starting to dry because your eyebrow feels weird. Like you're suddenly aware of the fact that there's glue all over it. So I'm just gonna set it with powder. I have to wash a whole bunch of my brushes later. So all the brushes we use in this video today are gonna be previously enjoyed brushes because I have to wash them later anyway, right? So I might as well just make it make the dirty brushes dirtier rather than making clean brushes dirty. Another layer of glue. Especially in the front, I have a lot of little like shorter eyebrow hairs in the very front here that like to not stick down. Everybody's eyebrows are gonna be different. Mine, I didn't ever think mine would be hard to cover because I don't really have particularly thick or dark eyebrows. Thicker than some, but like not, <laughs> not really. And I have a hell of a time covering my eyebrows. I don't know how queens do it, I would like a drag queen to come to my house and teach me how to block my eyebrows out properly, please and thank you. We're gonna try this now. I don't know that it's been enough time, and with my contact in, I can't actually see the time on the camera. But we're gonna try it anyway, you will. I'm gonna try to push it down really well on the edges and then not push it down in the middle at all, because I'm already annoyed that my eyelashes are like getting stuck in the netting. <laughs> It's okay that a little bit of the marker is coming out over here. We're gonna cotton and latex the edges to help blend them, so don't worry about that. How am I gonna do a full face of makeup like this? If I can do this, this is a testament to who I am as a person, fundamentally. It usually takes me three or four layers to get my eyebrow completely covered. I'm gonna give that layer a little more time to try. And then we'll do like a really thin layer of cotton and latex around here, just to help kind of seal this edge. And then we'll let that fully dry. I'll change my shirt. We'll paint everything blue. After we have the cotton and latex done, like everything after that is pretty much just the blue version of glam makeup, right? I'm really excited to show you this uh, snazzaroo. I think it works really well. I think it looks really good. Way better than the crappy cream makeup that came in the Sally kit. Honestly, I was shooting so many videos where I was blocking on my eyebrows that I started to get like little zits up here from not getting <laughs> the glue off properly after. So like after I'm done shooting this one, I have to chill. You can still see it, but we'll block it out, don't worry. So now we're gonna do my least favorite part and we're gonna pour some liquid latex. My pint of liquid latex is starting to get low. Whatever will I do? Now you're gonna wanna take some cotton. We don't need a lot because we're not, like I'm not building a wound, right? I'm just trying to blend a wound. Don't get on my shirt, I like the shirt. No, not my shirt. Now, why did I plan to do this with my fingers when I have those silicone spatula things? Uh, 
this was a mistake. Why did I do this? Oh, I got it on my shirt. No! Okay, so I've let this set for much longer than I intended to. I got distracted by a YouTube video. But the nice thing about cheap liquid latex, I don't know if it happens with expensive liquid latex, I've never tried, um, but it dries very yellow. So you can tell it's completely dry, and now that I'm looking at it over here, I realize that I missed, like, right here and right up here, but honestly, it shouldn't be too noticeable once I'm all blue. So we're just gonna do that. But what we're gonna do before I paint myself completely blue is I am gonna go into my Benefit Erase paste and block out my eyebrows a little bit with this. This is the shirt that I'm wearing as a fake wedding dress. I um, brought my other shirt to my mom and I was like, Mom, you have to save this. Okay, so now we're just gonna, we're just gonna go into it. Really, I should put corrector or concealer or something over this like yellow, but I'm gonna test my luck and just see if I can, can use the blue and get it dark enough. Unfortunately, so I did like, you can still do curbs I pick, pick up at Michael's. So I ordered this Snazaru online and then my sister picked it up for me. But unfortunately, like, the one that they gave me, like, falls out a lot. I wish they would have given me, like, a nicer one. One that's, like, actually affixed to the inside of the container. So, like, when you see this, look at how nice this is. My whole goal for this sort of costume slash look was not to have to buy anything for it. Just to kind of try to, you know, do it with things I already owned. And all I bought was the wig, so, so far so good. I am going to do my chest and like risk wrecking this shirt, but I'm going to have to do two or three layers on my face, I know. So I'm just going to focus on that first. And please keep in mind that I'm not only not a professional, we'll try spraying the brush this time, but I also kind of can't see. I should have put some of that concealer or corrector on my under eye. I didn't even think about that. What's Tim Burton's obsession with blue skin? That's what I want to know. Are we blue when we die? I should have used the corrector on the liquid latex. I knew it, I said it, and then I got lazy, and I didn't do it, and now I have regrets. This prosthetic is like really squishing my eyeball down. I'm not enjoying it. I think it's because my eyelashes are so long that it's like really giving me that one Quasimodo eye. Honestly, I feel like I could have done this liquid latex better. First of all, I missed the edge in a couple of spots because I just couldn't see. Second of all, like in the middle here, it's like really crinkly. I just feel like I could have done that better. But you know what? You live and you learn. I always find I have a hard time getting paint to stick to my nose. I don't know why. I'm gonna need more like over here, but I'm just gonna let that dry a little bit. I am gonna start to take it down my neck. for now. So what I want to do, I don't remember what her eyebrows look like. Her eyebrow is shaped kind of the way I thought it was. Kind of like... Do I have like... Oh, there's a little bit of eyeshadow. Purple eyeshadow on this.
Or should I make it higher? I kind of like the idea of it being a little bit higher, you know? I like that. All right. Where's my liquid liner? Wish me luck, kids. That's not awful. I guess she needs a second eyebrow too, doesn't she? That's about the same, all things considered. You know? Okay, if I fart with these eyebrows anymore, I'm never gonna finish. So we're just gonna leave them like that. Remember, eyebrows are sisters, not twins. So I'm just gonna go into this Huda Obsessions palette, whatever this one's called. Sapphire, that's what it's called. And the best part about this is I only have to worry about doing my eye makeup on one side. But I am gonna make everything just like a little bit bigger than I usually would. Because I have more space. I don't know what color I used this brush for in the past, but we're going to use it for the dark blue. That looks pretty much how I wanted it to look. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do my Ciate eyeliner stamp, and then I'm going to fill it all in with the ugh, Essence waterproof eyeliner that I've been using for like a thousand years. Again, when you're only doing one eye, you don't have to worry about your eye makeup being even. It's magical. So while that's drying, I think I am gonna add some more blue to the, this spot on my nose, because it's really bothering me. It didn't really get covered perfectly the first time. I forgot to grab my, dang it, Bobby. Forgot to grab my white NYX pencil. Mascara time. And then honestly, that little brush that I used to map out my eyebrows, I'm going to use it right now just to smudge some of the really dark. If I can find it. Where did it go? Did I eat it? I ate it. That's it. That's all I can say. I'm going to grab my NYX white pencil and then I need a brush for our contour. In order of what we're going to do here, we're going to put a little bit of this. This is just a brush, but we're going to put a little bit of the darker blue under the eyeball. And by a little bit, I apparently mean a lot. I did not mean to put this much, but honestly, it's okay. That's the beauty of doing only one eye of makeup. Everything looks intentional. Now we're gonna put on one eye of lashes, which is weird. And then we're gonna take my white and just put it on the lower waterline. See, that's what I wanted the white for, because it's just gonna make your eye look a little bit bigger. And then, one of the last things we're going to do is we're going to go into my old Snazzaroo kit. Because I think there's a blue in here. Eh, it's like a purpley. It, it'll do. And I just want to like contour with it. So we're going to use just like the smidgen of this purpley color. And we're going to... Man, I forgot how pigmented this palette is. Actually, I changed my mind. I don't want to use the palette. I just want to use powder. But I have to at least contour both cheeks with it now that I've started. Yeah, no, not what I thought. Not how I thought it was going to work. You know what, though? At least we tried. I kind of forgot that, like, using a brush that's wet on water activated your paint also had a high likelihood of picking up the paint that's underneath. My bad, yo. So we're just gonna use that dark shade that we used to contour the eyeball pretty much. Can I contour with this skinny little brush? Then can I puff it out with this Morphe brush? It's buffing out if I just keep going. Now this is hard because I really can't see over here. I'm just gonna do what I did on that side and just keep buffing. Hope that it doesn't look terrible when I'm in post. I always got like one of the smallest noses 
in the Tim Burton sphere. And then I've really messed up my nose with the liquid latex and the, the various things that I've done to it, so I'm not hopeful on this one. So weird, like doesn't even stick to the liquid latex. Now Emily also has like the world's most pronounced collarbones because she's obviously dead. Um, I was gonna shade mine with that little contour thing, but honestly, I changed my mind. <laughs> I just I'm not shaped well enough for it. Like my collarbones are all the way up here, and my neck is right there. It just doesn't work. Am I missing anything else? The hole in the cheek, that's what I'm missing. So I'm just gonna draw it on with this liquid liner to be honest with you. This is what I should have saved the uh, Snazaroo palette for. Okay, so there's the hole. Where's my little brush? Here you are. I just wanna like... Looking down at this angle, it's really making my eye go googly. Like really making my eye go googly. So I didn't realize my camera shut off because I can hardly see, but I used the liquid lipstick by Kat Von D in the shade uh, Lovesick. Sorry, I guess it's KVD Vegan Beauty now, but this is an old one, so it is Kat Von D. Um, I've seen people cosplay Emily and they use like sort of blue lipstick, but her lipstick is like light baby pinkish. Like if I had MAC Cream Cup, that's what I would have used, but this works just the same. This is the wig that I bought. Kind of like didn't own a blue wig so this is also kind of like the benefit of this video is that i honestly just want an excuse to buy a blue wig when you think about nice wigs like the kind that you get a at a halloween store is like not what comes to your mind immediately because uh, they're typically not the nicest wigs but i think they can be made to look decent you know you can do stuff to them brush them make them look nice so this is again from spirit halloween actually the quality of the neck feels nicer than I remember their wigs feeling in the past. The other thing I don't love about Spear Halloween wigs is that they're not like... Like they have a nice good amount of stretch on the cap, so they fit me just fine. But the caps aren't really adjustable, so if you have a particularly tiny head or something, you're gonna have a problem. So that's something like Emily. And then this is a little flower crown that I got at Gem Beauty a couple of years ago. And then this is my completed Corpse Bride inspired makeup. I'm gonna try to hide my arms because I obviously didn't paint them blue when I should have or I would have gloves or something. Um, I really underestimated how little I would be able to see. I definitely didn't underestimate how much work this would be. I knew it was gonna be a lot of work painting myself blue and putting on the prosthetic. Like, I don't think I've ever used sphere gum and liquid latex in the same look together before. So that was definitely fun. This is definitely a little bit sloppier, a little bit like messier looking than I thought it would be. I thought I would do a better job, but I guess being my first time using them both together and doing it with one eye covered and then one eye with a, you know, a contact lens that makes it kind of hard to see, this definitely ended up turning out better than I thought it would. Like, it could have been worse. It could also be better. So if I ever do this again, you know, it can only really go up from here, but I don't hate how it looks. I'm not disappointed. It's just not as awesome as I thought it would be. But I'm interested to see uh, what you think. How do you think this was for my first time doing uh, Spirit Gum and Liquid Latex? Do you have any suggestions, any pointers for next time? Do you like my little impromptu Corpse Bride makeup look? It actually, like, especially on camera, I mean, I can hardly see, so maybe it doesn't look good, but I think it did a good job like with the eyebrow, and I think the contact really helps. A little hole in my cheek. Like, it does look decent. It just could have looked better. I could have done the liquid latex smoother if I had used some of my little like flat silicone paddle brush things rather than just my fingers. I don't know why I did that. 
Um, I could have, like, it just could have been better. Also, I don't have an eyeball. Like, I wish I had an eyeball that I could hold. Or, like, the little green worm guy, maggot, whatever he is. Oh, man, if I had an agent out of clay, I could have, like, stuck him in there. That would have been smart. I just thought of that now. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed already. Also, make sure that you let me know on Instagram and Twitter and all that if you're doing anything spooky for this Halloween season. I would love to know. I would love to see what you're up to. My handles on all of my social media are... Abby Lane Green, A B B Y L A N E G R E E N. Just make sure that you tag me yourself so I can see how you're celebrating this Halloween in a very unique way, I'm sure. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!